GCSE Biology, we're on Syllabus Statement um, 215 and we're looking at the factors, things that affect the rate of movement of substances into and out of cells. So if we have a cell, we're looking at the rate at which substances move into and out of that cell different factors that affect that. So for instance we could have a cell with oxygen around it like this and the cell is carrying out respiration on the inside so the concentration here is low and the concentration here is high so the rule of diffusion tells us that the molecule will move from a region of its high concentration to a region of its low concentration. So the prediction here is that the oxygen molecules will move into the cell. Like that. If we look at one of the factors that can change the rate, how quickly this occurs, we could look at surface area to volume ratios. Now what happens here is in comparison to the cell, let's take a cell with the same volume but a larger surface area and we can do that by folding the membrane. So we could have something like this. So the diagram is supposed to contain the idea that the volumes are the same. This cell here and this cell here have the same volume, but you can see with the folding of the cell membrane in this cell, it has a larger surface area. And the consequence of this is that the oxygen molecules have more surface through which they can diffuse. So we get more oxygen diffusion. So for a large surface area in comparison to the volume we get faster higher rate of diffusion. During the course you'll come across examples of where the cell membrane is folded to achieve larger surface areas and it's because of this factor affecting the rate of diffusion. A second factor is the temperature. So let's go back to a standard cell with oxygen round about like this. Now in comparison to the original cell, here the temperature is higher. So the oxygen molecules have a higher kinetic energy, which means that they're moving more, so they're more active they're moving in all, all sorts of directions and the opportunity to collide with the cell and to move into the cell is increased because they're moving more. So high temperatures overall have the effect of increasing the rate of diffusion. Return to the syllabus statement We've done surface area to volume ratios, we've done temperature, and now we're going to look at the final element, which is concentration gradient. To illustrate this, let's look at two cells, two near identical cells. Inside this cell, there are two units of oxygen, and on the outside, there are five 
units of oxygen. So the relative difference, the ratio, is 2 to 5. And the oxygen will diffuse into the cell because this is the low concentration and this is the high concentration. However, if the concentration on the inside of the cell was lower, perhaps we just had one unit of oxygen, and the concentration of oxygen on the outside of the cell is higher, let's say um, 10 units of oxygen, then the, the opportunity for oxygen to diffuse in is greater. And so this greater concentration gradient, so the greater the concentration gradient, the faster the rate of diffusion. Diffusion rates are increased by large surface areas on the cell, higher temperatures, and greater concentration gradients.